What up guys, Lofile here, and today I'm gonna to talk about sounds. If you're a modern producer, you know that sound design is just as important as your ideas. Good and creative sound design can not only inspire you more to make better music, but also your collaborators. Artists nowadays expect you to have good sounds ready to go when you're in a session. In the past, most VSTs had okay sounds that you could start from, that you could build off of, put effects on, and make better. But nowadays, companies are starting to focus on making their patches more musical, memorable, and usable. One of the plugins that's recently come out that I've been really enjoying is the Prince by Cradle. They were nice enough to send me a copy and let me try it out, so that's what we're gonna do today. All right, so we got the Prince open. Let's start messing around with some stuff. Pretty cool. Sometimes I like to uh, mess with the Max for Live arpeggiator. Kind of cool. Uh, maybe take out some of those, some of that reverb. Cool little two chord thing, not too complicated. I'm gonna bounce this down to audio. And we're working really slow here. I'm at 68 uh, BPM because lately I've been like working super slow and resampling myself and speeding it up. It's been a fun way to create. See what else we got going on. Let's just mess around and then mess with it. Okay, so I'm just like kind of picking parts I like. Put it down the octave. That's cool. Put some delay on that very last one. This is a nice little ending. Got to put our utility before it in the chain so we can throw it into that. So the only, only the last one gets delayed. Maybe a little EQ. Get some more prints in here. Oh, I like that. I like the bell. I think. Yeah, you can use this blunt here to go to the layer you like. That's cool. Maybe some. Uh, Good old classic RC20. That's hard. Little bell layer. Do some little automation things. Like I want to send this guy to reverb, the main sound to reverb every once in a while. I don't know, just do something weird. Like just those notes, you know, kind of cool. Let's get rid of stuff that's fighting. This one to reverb too. All right, I'm gonna use the auto pan to give this more of a defined rhythm, like doom, doom, doom. Let's 
Let's try something. Let's try finding something we can like make as like just a background thing and like maybe reverse it and trip it out a little bit. I don't know. Uh. All right, it's kind of random stuff. And then maybe put some delays on it. And if we print that and flatten them, they sound like backwards, backwards. Yeah, I like that a lot. It's already cool. Yeah, uh, yeah. Maybe add a little bass line and then resample ourselves, see what happens. Maybe sing a vocal sample or something and then... sample okay this is sounding pretty cool let's just uh structure it a little bit and then resample ourselves because this is the fun part we get to see what it sounds like in a different key in a different tempo Okay, we'll, we'll come back and get these stems later, but just for the purpose of like trying stuff out, I like to bounce it as one thing. Now we've got this. first and then put it to audio so I can do slides better. I like doing them in the Ableton uh, envelopes rather than like MIDI pitch or something. That's a cool idea and I'd probably go back and bounce out all the stems 
bring them into this project and tweak them more, make sure nothing's fighting. Cause there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, typically happens like that. And then I'll like chop and prioritize, get rid of stuff, but it's vibing. So there you have it. A cool little idea using primarily the prints. And if you're interested in trying this out, you can actually go to their website and try it out for free. Thanks for watching guys. Till next time. Oh, 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 my motherfucking set, right?